Okay, dear friends, welcome back. Today, I'd like to continue our series of one hop. The virtual machine would be Duck Hole One. I will put the link into the description section below so that you can download this virtual machine. Before we begin today's video, if you don't mind, please subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate your help and support. So now let's just get started. To save time, I have already imported this virtual machine into the VMware workstation. Now we can go into the Canon Linux. As you can see over here, I have already identified the IP address of the virtual machine as 162. And then I did the map scanning. I did the scene scan, the versus scan, the script scan. I also did the comprehensive scan by specifying the option of dash p dash. And uh, from the map scanning results, which is displayed over here, we can know there are two open ports. The first one is 22, which is running SSH surface and also the actual version information, including the version number, exact version number. As we know, this version doesn't have any vulnerability. And uh, the second open port is 80, which runs HTTP surface, and also the actual version information, which is Apache 2. What we are going to do next is to do some emulation or furthermore emulation for the 80 port. So now let's open up our browser. And let's put the IP address of the virtual machine. Okay, so this is the dark hole website, and but we cannot uh, click. It seems that it's not working properly. But uh, at the at the top, you can see on the top, you can see there is one link login, and uh, of course you can try like the weak uh, credentials or weak password like admin, admin um, login but uh, failed. Also you can use the login bypass techniques for example like uh, this one S sign in but uh, failed and uh, of course you can try uh, try different or several login bypass techniques or lines of lines of the command, but uh, you will not succeed at this point. Also, you can use the bub suite to intercept the request and copy the request to a file, and then use the SQL map to to test whether this login page has. SQL injection vulnerability, but I can tell you, I failed to identify such vulnerability. So what can we do? Of course, we can do the direct emulation, like a GoBuster. I like to autocomplete this uh, command. And here, although we have already, uh, the GoBuster has identified some files or directories like uh, upload, yeah, inside this upload, we can uh, check this uh, this directory. And there is one image. You can download this image onto the Canon Linux and make analysis to see whether there is hidden message inside this image. But I can tell you, we cannot find anything useful from this image itself. Let's go back to our terminal. And uh, for example, like uh, the Godbuster has recognized the dashboard.php file, but uh, this should be uh, authenticated first to access this file. And also the register and the login. Login, we have already know that. Yeah, so I think uh, for the direct emulation, we cannot get uh, more useful information. So what can we do is, you know, 
uh, let's go back to our login. Here, uh, here it says not a member. You can sign up or register. We can click, and uh, you can, for example, use the admin. And but uh, this field, it doesn't look looks it doesn't look like it's working. And the password we can put the one two three four five anything, and uh, we can use the. But of course, the we if we click register. It says please fill out this field. It means that the browser has some, uh, some way to, to to, to prevent you to uh, to post this information. So we can click the ins inspect. Of course, when you do this box or this virtual machine, you maybe will not face such issue, but. Uh, uh, I when I did this virtual machine the first time I faced this issue and this is how I handled this issue. Okay, I go to the go to the inspector and uh, go to this field. I just uh, remove this or delete this node, and now I can register. But it says email or username is already taken, so it means that the admin. Is the user of this of this system or this site, and we can try some else like uh, Jason. And uh, this one we need to we need to delete this node again. We need to locate this node and delete, and then we can put the password like one two three and register. Okay, I think no problem. And now we can log in. Uh, as Jason and uh, password is one two three and sign in. Yeah, no problem. And now we need to use the uh, Bubble Suite uh, to analyze the request because here we can change the password, and uh, we need to uh, set the proxy to the burp, and uh, then we can. I have already opened up uh, the Bubble Suite. And we need to set the intercept option to on, okay. And then we can change the password like one two three four five and change. And we got the request. But you can see the password, uh, be the inside this post request, uh, along with the password information. There is also ID information. So I think the the ID uh, number two is our own user, the JSON. Uh, just what we just uh, created. ID one is the uh, the means, right? So we can modify the ID to one and uh, forward, and also we can uh, change ID to one and uh, forward. Yeah, no problem. I think now we can maybe we can set the. Proxy to turn off to see whether we can log in as a domain, right? A domain and uh, password is one two three four five. Okay, sign in. Uh, but not correct. I need to do again one JSON and uh, one two three sign in. Don't save and the password is one two three four five. And I need to set the proxy to burp and change. And now I set the ID forward. Yeah. And here forward. Yeah. And I think now we can set off the turn off the proxy to see whether we can log in as a domain. Yeah, no problem. So we successfully log in as a domain user, and uh, uh, which would be a different. We can upload the file, so we can upload the reverse shell dot php, right? And we can copy from my two sets and make some modifications. We need to modify the IP address to our Kali Linux. And uh, need to change the port number to five five five. 
Okay. And now we can go back to our admin portal and we can browse this file and open and upload. But it says, sorry, allow, uh, just allow GPG, PNG, GIF. So it means that maybe uh, this side has some uh, filtering mech mechanism. Okay. So we can we need to try some techniques. For example, we can intercept the request and change the file type. Also, the easiest or the first way we need to try is to uh, modify the extension name. Okay, we can move the shell and to PHTML and go back to our admin portal and log in and upload. Yeah, it upload the file successful. So we need to set up the listener and go back to our admin and then we can click this file or access this file we got the reverse shell and we can check the python the python 2 is not installed spawn Okay, we can go to the home directory. There is two. There are two users. The first one, duck hole. Nothing here. We go back and go to the John. But uh, we didn't have the permission to read some files like uh, SSH directories. But we cannot read the private key okay we can go back but here as you can see the the 22 has some suid bit so we can run this file or command to try to see what is what is about it seems like uh, it's is to do some command id so maybe we can generate our own ID and get the another a shell. Okay, we can go to the temp directory, and we can generate our own ID. And then we need to change the mode, but also we need to change the pass variable. Okay, and run uh, this to two again to two. As you can as you can see now we have have already become the John user, and now we can cut the password. So maybe we can log in via SSH to this uh, virtual machine, and we can go back to our. Terminal and open up another tab. Go to our working directory and we can log in. John. And the password is password. What's password? Yeah, password is loot123. Loot. One two three. Yeah, we successfully log in as user uh, John, and uh, we can run the sudo. Yeah, we can run the uh, Python and this script to get the root privilege, right? And we can cut uh, this Python script. First, but uh, now, so far, this file is empty. We can add our own code into this file. Okay. Oh, not uh, this one. Yeah. We need to join file 
and uh, we can run we just uh, copy the whole path now we have really become the root user and we got the root flag here okay so that's all i'd like to demonstrate in this video hope to see you in the next one bye